it gives me a great pleasure to be able to speak to him uh, dr g satish reddy secretary department of defense uh, research and development and also the chairman of the defense research and development organization dr reddy first up thank you very much for agreeing to speak to us i know you are running uh, a tight schedule 28 hours out of the 24 hours you are on your toes but uh, thank you very much first up big big congratulations to all, for, to to you and your entire team for all the work that you've been doing because uh, from missile to medicine, DRDO has been at the forefront of protecting Bharat and its citizens. But the challenge of this pandemic has been very unique. Yeah. Uh, as you know, last year when the pandemic uh, had come, the scientists have jumped into the uh, fray and then uh, worked against the COVID by developing uh, whether it is sanitizers or PPEs or masks or UV sanitizers or the ventilators and so many varieties of things. Uh, people have come out and then uh, transferred to the industry, many technologies. Uh, probably about 75 products have been transferred to more than 100 industries and which have been produced in uh, large quantities have been supplied in the country and outside the country. That's the contribution what uh, DRDO has made last uh, year. Uh, so that, that humility is amazing, but because more than 50 different type of tech, 75 products, like you said, 100 industries have been supplied and during this pandemic period itself. But what for you was uh, or have been perhaps the most path breaking? If you were to pick. Um, one is uh, primarily, firstly, I can say that the oxygen plants, the technology what has been used in the fighter aircraft stages, the DRDO laboratory devil in Bangalore, which has uh, developed this onboard oxygen generation system for the pilots when they go to the high altitudes. The same thing has been converted into producing large oxygen, like uh, about 1,000 liters a minute. This plant has been made. And the Honorable uh, Prime Minister has uh, um, given the directions and then uh, gave the funding from the PM Cares Fund to produce in large quantities in a short span of time so that such plants can be installed in each and every district. So on that directions, we have actually brought in lots of industries, big industries like Tata, LNT, Bharat Atmos Limited, and the Trident. These all industries were brought in and then they started producing it. You have seen in Delhi, in five hospitals, uh, the plants have been established. And uh, outside Delhi, the uh, production uh, machine started coming, uh, rolling out. And yesterday, the first uh, plant has been installed uh, near Bangalore in a place called Hindupur from Tata's. So now every day the machines will be coming out, the plants will be coming out and they'll be getting installed all over the country, uh, whichever actually health department, health ministry has finalized. So about 700 plants have to be installed, 550 plus about 162 that were commissioned earlier. That's not a small ask. Uh, and in three months. Actually, um, the Prime Minister has actually given uh, sanction of uh, from the pm case fund another 349 totally 849 is the number from yeah. drdo industries will be coming out and in three months time that, yeah, that by, you... end. by zola end so so uh, and and then what other technology of course the oxygen plant but i'm sure uh, that they must... then uh, we have developed one more thing called the uh, oximeter um, based oxygen in the sense, uh, a smaller cylinder, a, a 10 liter cylinder, which is a portable cylinder uh, with a regulator. And then there is a electronic control unit, which actually reads the oxygen levels through the SPO2 meters. And then um, the oxygen is regulated based on the oxygen levels, what you're measuring. So automatically it is controlled and required oxygen will be given. So the stress on the medical uh, team doctors and uh, nurses and others should be less people at home can have it of course with the doctor's consultation and even in the quarantine centers or healthcare centers or even hospitals people can have it again honorable prime minister has sanctioned about 1.5 lakhs of uh, cylinders hmm. along with this regulator and everything and which again uh, big industries are started uh, fabricating manufacturing them should be rolling out in a day or two and the numbers should be coming out and which should be again distributed all over the country wow that's just fantastic I, i'll come to another dynamic in just a bit because you and your team have also set up huge hospitals covid treatment and care centers and they're too fully equipped that must not have been easy 
Yeah, the hospitals have been established. We have a specialized uh, uh, civil wing and the scientists who are there and uh, then established the hospital in Delhi, a thousand bed hospital in 10 days last year. And now this uh, pandemic, the number of places is being established as per the directions of the government. Uh, firstly, a 500 bed ICU hospital in Delhi, then uh, 800 uh, bed hospital in Ahmedabad, then 500 bed hospital in Lucknow, then 750 bed hospital in Varanasi, then 500 bed hospital in Rishikesh, Antwani, wow. then Jammu, then Srinagar, Gandhinagar, now uh, in uh, Gauhati. And many places is being established now a full-fledged COVID facility, a facility which has uh, complete all the requirements, uh, right from beds to oximeters to uh, ventilators to uh, having uh, the low pressure is maintained inside so that the virus doesn't spread and uh, recirculation of air is avoided and many things have been incorporated here. The complete medicines, the pharmacy is established, the diagnostic center established all that with all that and the doctors uh, from uh, armed forces and also from the CAPF and in some places like uh, Rishikesh, Halwani, Jammu and Kashmir, the state government providing the doctors and nursing staff, all the places, uh, hospitals and so specialized hospitals and with beds for COVID patients. So number of places have been established in a short span of time. No, absolutely. But uh, you are largely known for research and development. So you will develop tech, you will develop, uh, but for that to be implemented at such a mass scale, how important is this public-private partnership? The complete everything has been uh, done with the partnership with industry. As I explained to you, the oxygen uh, plants is with the uh, complete industry. As I said, four industries have participated and 10 more industries we are giving the technology so that they can also manufacture and supply all over the country. As I said, the uh, smaller oxygen uh, cylinders and control unit and the oximeter, what we call it, that is also with industry. And then the hospitals also are being built with uh, people who have expertise and you need them and a lot of work. Various companies have worked with us and at one one place, one one company has worked and that's how the could, total work could be done. The type of support which industry has given is tremendous. People have raised to the occasion in this pandemic situation, in this uh, situation where lockdowns are there, they could retain the employees, make them work. 24 by 7 people are working. True. And that, I, I think that commitment shows through also. Uh, let's talk about another uh, of your uh, innovations or perhaps developments in terms of medicine, the DRDO drug. Um, so, 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 Dr. Reddy, you know, the DRDO drug, that's another of your uh, innovations. It's a hot seller. Doctors are already prescribing it. There's so much of demand. Uh, tell us the process, how you came about. Uh, basically, our laboratories, uh, one laboratory at DRD uh, Gwalior, another laboratory in mass at uh, New Delhi, they have been working on this uh, 2DG molecule for uh, some time for other applications. Mm -hmm. Then in the last year, they felt that this uh, molecule will be who can work effectively on uh, COVID uh, infected cells. And so the experiments have started, went to CCMB and did the experiments. And then uh, those data we have submitted to DCGI and DCGI has given the uh, clearance to go ahead with clinical trials and phase 2A, phase 2B have done all over the country a number of patients. And then those results have been furnished to the DCGI and then the phase three has been uh, clearance has been to go ahead and then phase three has been conducted on about 27 hospitals across the country over about 220 20 patients and the data has been again analyzed and the results which have been good have been submitted to the dcgi and dcgi has given the approval for utilizing this medicine on severe to moderate patients uh, as a therapeutic drug as an urgent drug and uh, that is how uh, the clearance and then our partner, Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, which has been all through with us, has uh, started making some. The first batch has come about 10 days back and the second batch is uh, released today. And in the month of June, they're going to come with a good amount of quantities and making it available to all the people. By and large, we are seeing that uh, most of the people who have taken this, they're all able to uh, recover faster and then uh, their oxygen requirement is coming down and so, I'm sure that uh, in the coming months, a lot more uh, satchels of medicine will be available and help the patients to recover faster. 
True, uh, but let me ask you, is the DRDO any way responsible for the mass production or is it your partner from the industry who will have to facilitate that? Because many people are concerned about this. Uh, and, uh, and yeah. Basically, you know, DRDO is, definitely, is a research and development organization. We do the research and come out with a specific thing and we do the studies and say that this is applicable and this works like this and all. Though the industry partner, like in this case, Dr. Redis Laboratories, is the one who is actually uh, producing this medicine. They have the facilities, they have the API facilities, factories everywhere. And so they're going to produce, they started producing the first batch and today's second batch has come. Hmm. And in the next week, every two, three days, uh, batches uh, will be coming out. And so it's the industry, which is always the production agency. DRDO is primarily for research and development and production through the industry always. Would you say perhaps the world over, this is the first drug uh, for COVID-19? Uh, I, I won't uh, be able to say exactly so, I don't know, but uh, this is one drug, the therapeutic drug, which has been developed in the country in the sense of, for this application and uh, being produced here and then uh, all the applicability of this for the COVID virus has been thoroughly analyzed, tested, clinical trials have gone through. And so I'm sure that the patients will get benefited out of this drug. If I may ask you, Dr. Reddy, what are you and your team currently working on with uh, regard to the pandemic and also perhaps uh, anticipating the third wave, which is which many are talking about? See, we have... Uh, uh, life Sciences Laboratories, which keep working on all uh, these aspects of various uh, requirements for this type of a viral effects and biological related effects, physiological related effects. So they're continuing their work on a particular one and then also specific to COVID. And uh, we'll tell you whenever uh, anything comes out, like you have seen that just day before yesterday, we have come out with uh, an antibodies test kit. Yeah. actually given to again an industry called Vanguard, which are going to produce from 1st of June, which actually takes about 70-75 uh, minutes for the result to come and uh, the cost of the test is also very less around 75-80 rupees. So likewise, people are continuously working as and when the results come, I will be letting you know. Wow, an antibody test at 75 rupees. I paid 1350 for mine, sir, not so long ago. But uh, let me ask you this. You've been, you, when I say you, the organization, DRDO, has always been committed to the service of the nation and it's always been there. But would you agree if I say that in the recent past, it has come in public view to be at the forefront? Um, the scientists have taken their uh, responsibilities and then uh, offshoot of their technologies which are working when the nation is in this type of a condition, we should work for it. And uh, the guidance of Honorable uh, Taksha Mantri and the uh, Prime Minister and taking that uh, uh, into, and uh, people have worked uh, uh, very hard and have come out with this uh, many solutions and still working on that very hard. Uh, would you, how important is uh, leadership and political will? How much of a role does it play in say spurring innovation and also motivating uh, scientists? The scientists actually have uh, taken the spirit and taken the call of uh, Honorable Prime Minister and then uh, it is our duty to use our knowledge and the science, what we have uh, been working on and, and take the offshoot of these uh, technologies and develop many things like the people who are working on parachutes or CBR and um, suits, they have developed the PPEs and masks. And similarly, um, uh, people who are working on lasers and microwaves and other things, they have developed the UV sanitizers and microwave sanitizers. The people who are working on uh, biomedical related aspects, they have developed the ventilators. So that's how the technologies, what they have been working, they have taken it up and uh, worked on all these technologies, of course, uh, uh, with uh, seeing the conditions and felt the need of it and with the guidance of the leadership hmm. of the country. True, but we're also living, Dr. Reddy, if I were to move beyond just the pandemic, we're living in increasingly challenge, uh, challenging times with threats to us as a nation and its integrity all around. So from sonar, navigation, aerospace, you've been at the forefront of many technological innovations and advancements that further move towards protecting the country. That, that's always been the core theme, hasn't it been? But, but could you tell us some more of the crucial achievements of you and your team, which you would like to uh, share with our viewers. 
Um, number of technologies, number of systems have been developed by us. Uh, one uh, important uh, technology, what has been, you know, you have seen that the Tejas aircraft, which has been completely indigenously developed light combat, light weight aircraft, has been um, uh, inducted and then um, Air Force has given 83 numbers of single largest order, which actually gives a lot of boost to the uh, Indian avionics industry is one of the important uh, things which is actually paving the way for developing advanced aircrafts in the coming years. And then Honorable Prime Minister handed over uh, the uh, Arjun Mark 1A tank uh, in uh, Chennai to the armed forces. And that's an, another ma major milestone in the field of tanks what uh, being developed indigenously in the country. And you know that the world's longest range gun, ATACs, is developed in the country. It has gone through the winter trials and high altitude trials and uh, will be going through all the other trials and should be getting into the armed forces soon. So these are some of the uh, achievements, uh, what I can tell you right now. What keeps you going? What keeps you and your team going? Don't you sometimes sit back and say, why am I doing this? It is the duty of the scientists to equip the armed forces with the state of the art uh, equipment and arms and see that you are self-reliant and you are actually able to make and develop them and produce them in the country and then export them into the world to make the country prosperous. How important, my final question, uh, uh, your message to our viewers, uh, because you're not an easy man to get, so I'm just going to request you to tell uh, what you think and what you feel uh, to our viewers in terms of how important is research and development and how important is public support and public trust and belief in what you are doing? Oh, R&D is the very important for any given nation. See, many critical technologies and critical uh, uh, infrastructure won't be coming to the country. You need to develop all those within uh, the country, give yourself indigenously. So if you want to be a nation which has the state-of-the-art technologies, the complete research and development has to happen within the country, academic institutes, research organizations, industry. In a synergetic manner, you need to work and provide that. And that is what actually makes, makes the nation self-reliant and also prosperous. And so we need to work for that. And it's always very important that the country, the nation has the confidence in these organizations and which actually motivates the scientists much more to see that they are able to dedicate themselves and come out with many more uh, products and technologies making the nation proud. Well, that you are there for us reassures us, uh, when I say you, means you and your entire team and the DRDO. And I hope that uh, this, this belief that we have in you is going to further motivate you and your team to take us to, to, to greater heights in terms of technological advancements, from missiles to medicines, like I said. Thank you very much, Dr. Satish Reddy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.